Hi guys, today I am talking about the seas of change and I'm not referring to oceans, I am talking about the letter C, kick it up with curiosity. And when I refer to curiosity, I'm talking about awareness, awareness of the self and in turn awareness of others, awareness of the world around you. And that means getting in touch with some aspects of yourself that may not be so desirable. I mean, we all know the aspects of ourselves that we like, but it's also getting in touch with things like self-sabotage, with our self-limiting beliefs, the ways in which we can be our own worst enemy. And that can take a lot of soul searching. However, the more aware we are of ourselves, the more we can become curious about other people, the more we um, can move away about the assumptions and the expectations we have of other people and of the world around us. Next up, I am sorry, I'm distracted by my bulldog. Next up, I am talking about connection and that is connection again with the self and connection with others and connection is all about being in tune with your internal experience being in touch with your emotions being in touch with the negative thoughts being in touch with your internal critic the more in touch you are with your internal experience, the more awareness you can create of others, the more you can be empathetic towards others. And as a result, the more you can be in tune with the needs of others, in tune with your own needs, creating whatever boundaries need to be created and also uh, creating deep meaningful and intimate relationships you know because again it's about paving the way for vulnerability for people being their authentic selves and again you know it's about getting in touch with the good bad and the different inside the next up then i am talking about creativity we all have an inner genius we all have an aspect of ourselves which lays dormant which we may not even know about and it's about exploring all of our capabilities and giving our inner talents a chance to shine now the thing is we plow so much of our energy into things like our work um our families there's not an awful lot left when it comes to the end of the day and yet what's left we plow into scrolling through our Twitter feed or our in Instagram feed or, you know, our Facebook feed. And it's such a waste. So in order to get more tuned into your to your gifts, you need to tune out of your phone. Next up then is compassion. Change requires forgiveness because ultimately you are going to experience setbacks you are going to experience failures and you're going to experience letdowns from other people and it's about being able to forgive again and again forgive yourself forgive other people move away from your perfectionist standards the more kindness you can portray in life the better off you're going to be and again that's the whole compassionate side of things you know it's about being kind to yourself so ultimately you can be kind to others. Next up, I'm referring to courage. It takes a lot of bravery to step outside of your comfort zone. And although we tend to know the things that we need to change, um, we can tend to be quite comfortable in our misery. You know, we know that life isn't working for us. We know the things that we need to do. And yet there's a strange security in, in kind of sticking with the devil you know. So it takes a lot for you to move beyond that. You know, there is risk involved, there's fear involved, but ultimately it's either Either that or you just stagnate exactly where you are and you need to keep reminding yourself that which brings me to consistency and commitment change people tend to also underestimate the amount of work the amount of discipline and the amount of mundane stuff that is required in order to make meaningful change possible you know it's about having your routines in place sticking to those routines adhering to them even when you feel like they're not working or even when the going gets rough and all you want to do is just get drunk or you know lay in bed all day or whatever it is that kind of soothes your pain eat the contents of the fridge there's always going to be an, a quick fix some sort of instant gratification that seems a little bit more tempting than having to do the work 
However, the thing is, you're just bringing yourself back to the point that you were trying to get away from. Ultimately, when you can move beyond all of the things that you use to self-soothe and to avoid dealing with emotions, you are going to feel so much better. You become a more aware person. You become more tuned in to what it is that your true needs, your core values are and what you need in order to feel fulfilled and feel content and to experience a peace of mind. If this is something that you want to find more, out more about, get in touch with me on the website. It's fundamentals.ie. You can also catch me on Facebook or Instagram. And the face or the page is called Fundamentals. I also do a podcast with Neil O'Brien. And it looks at how to find a more purposeful life and all uh, issues, mental health related. So go check it out. It's called Touchy and Feely. It's available on iTunes and Spotify. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if that's not enough, you can also catch me on YouTube. Um, I post loads of videos with similar content to this covering all angles of mental health and personal development. So go check it out, like, share, subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like me to cover in my content, please feel free to get in contact and I will do so.